everybody, welcome back to Rain Knight Gaming. I'm Rain Knight, and this is Master Duel Dinos, MDD. Last episode, we did awesome, going 2-0. Yeah, it's an awesome way to start a series. And we're just gonna drop straight into our next duel, because it's only been two matches, and we haven't made any changes to the deck. So let's go into our first match and get it done. Okay, here we go. Ooh, our opponent's got one of those new field things. That's pretty shiny, liking that. Okay, our opening hand is, you know, it is what it is. We've got a pot of extravagance. We've got a starter, we've got a baby. Not too bad, you know, I'll take that. So we, uh, he doesn't do anything, just sets a card. So I'm all about those kind of play, Jesus. Okay, pulling two ultimate conductors is not the best, but we can play through that because we've also got our two archosaurs so his drawing potential for the, the uh, for the pill is kind of sucks but we'll just play around that it's not a big deal so we go ahead we use the baby's effect to get solely over wrapper over raptor's effect to get our miscellaneousaurus miscellaneousaurus goes to the graveyard then we're going to go ahead and get our link one because we are we need two dinosaurs in the graveyard and we're going to go ahead and pop two of them and get our baby out then we're going to use soul eating's effect to pop the baby and the baby in there is going to bring out another baby and that lets us get the search so we get our rex out go ahead and link two into our pentastag now i'll tell you people sleep on pentastag but in dinosaurs it is just death uh, we're going to go ahead and use our pill, which lets us ban it, and then we can just summon out our other uh, guy from our hand, so yay, I like that. Uh, we got some good damage here, we did screw up, yes, yes we did, misplays abide. We banished our, well we sent our other ultimate conductor to the graveyard by mistake. And we also didn't activate our Rex in the banish zone because we are stupid. So that's fun. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't really have that much. I don't use our dinosaur's effect because I just kind of wanted to sit on it till my turn and I wasn't really scared of his monster. So we're just going to do it on his end phase and pop it, get our dude back here and get our second miscellaneousaurus. Oh, I love having more than one Miscellaneousaurus. It's so good. So, he's got two set, which I'm not that scared of. But Regeki, pretty awesome. I am pumped about Regeki. So, we're just going to go ahead and pop his field. Go ahead, go into Adulka. I uh, can't wait to get the Logia, because that's going to be super nice. I would have definitely gone into it here to protect against that back row. Because we're going to try to attack the game, but he's got Negate Attack, which... This pisses me off. But we've got three negates in hand plus protection for our dinos even on his main phase. So I can't see him getting out of this very easily. So we're going into our draw phase and we don't get anything that really helps. So I'm just going to pot of extravagance. We've already gotten the monsters we want out of our extra deck. So potting here is pretty awesome. I don't know what his trap does and I don't feel like reading it, so I'm just gonna chain uh, Mist to it so I don't have to worry about it. So whatever his trap does, it doesn't hurt me. Well, except it does end up hurting me for 2,000 life points, but what do life points matter as long as you have one? That should be a t-shirt, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and Monster Reborn and just bring back his blue eyes, because I guess that's what he was playing. <laughs> and that's gonna be enough for him to say sayonara and that is a game one win, taking us to 3-0. Okay, let's roll into game three. And you know what? I had to jump on the bandwagon. I spent some gems and got myself the gear field and some card sleeves, because I wanted to look fancy. You know, who doesn't like to look fancy? Uh, our opening hand, um, we've got our play starters, so we've got full combo. We, of course, pill, pull, pill and both ultimate conductors, because that's apparently what we do now, uh, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, so we are going against Shiranui. Shiranui is a really cool archetype. So there's zombies and have a lot of things around being banished. So we're gonna try not to banish their guys. 
Um, also, I believe Samurai has something in combat where he can just destroy a monster by discarding. Um, I didn't feel like reading it, so I'm just going to play around with that. So you can see we've got our opening start here. You know, Obi Raptor gets our Misk. Misk gets our Animadorn. Animorn pops the baby. Baby gets our pill. Then we get baby effect to get another baby. Then we're just going to link off into our Link Karibo. Still love these animations. I mean, they're just disgusting. And how sick is this field? It's, it's sick. I'm so cool with this. I can't wait for more of the little buddies to come out. We're gonna pop our baby to get our baby and to get our search for another baby because I wanna get rid of that back row. So I'm going to do a little something different here. It's a little spicy. Mwah. You know, the chef's kiss spicy. <laughs> we go in with the Pentastag for the OTK purposes of Alter Conductor Tyranno. We've got that. So we use our pill, banish our T-Rex and uh, Link Karibo to get out our Alter Conductor Tyranno. And then of course, we're going to get the Tyranno effect popping our other baby. And that's gonna let us search a level four and up dinosaur. So we're gonna use that after we get our Rex to get our Dino Wrestler Panker Tops, which is such a cool card. And there's a reason it's at one. You can sacrifice him to get rid of any card your opponent controls. So I'm getting rid of his trap. He is able to activate his trap, Swallow Slash, but it's in our main phase. We're still protected by Misk, so it does absolutely nothing. And <laughs> that would piss me off, and I think it pisses him off a little bit too. <laughs> so we're just gonna summon our other Ultimate Conductor right out, and he can do the math. That's a lot of damage. We get our fourth victory. Victory! <laughs> Real quick after our Flawless victory, I am going to make two changes to the deck really quick because we have some extra materials from our season pass. So I'm going to go ahead and craft our ultimate rare Logia. That's going to give us two Logia and two Dalka because I went ahead and uh, searched through the pack that we got because by, by making Dalka, we got it some packs, got some ultra rares, and we're good to go there. So now we have two, two. And I'm also going to make one of my most hated cards in the whole game, Axi. <laughs> We're gonna make one, because that's all the materials we have. But that will eventually be three, because it's just that powerful of a card. It's banned in the TCG for a reason. But that's it for me, guys. I will see you next episode. If you like what you're watching, go ahead in the bottom, like, subscribe, and tell me what deck you're playing, because I love seeing what everyone loves to play. But until then, I'll see you next time. See ya!